Brooke, the actual question, the first question I really want to ask you is, are you any relation to Jan Zelenka, the composer? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not, um, though I get asked that question every time I go back to the Czech Republic, where right. uh, my, my family's from. So, yeah. And especially uh, because I studied music in university, you know, people are like, ah, oh, is there some connection? But no, uh, uh, Zelenka is just a very common Czech name. So. Uh, right, right, right. So, but this, this segues perfectly into kind of this open question is that your background is in musical theory. And then now you're pretty much established as a protocol designer and sort of high level thinker um, uh, in this space. How, how, how does, how did that, that velocity kind of take you through both of those things? Uh, well, a, a long winding series of happy <laughs> accidents, I think. Um, and uh, happy accidents also in that a lot of the background ends up being very similar. So I had, I'll, I'll give you sort of like more of a uh, direct um, uh, path and then kind, kind of why it works out well. Um, so I was in music school. Um, I ended up doing a lot of the posters and promotional materials for um, for the other students for their concerts. And so I picked up Photoshop, Illustrator, and a bunch of these techniques. So I ended up working a little bit as a graphic designer on the side to pay the bills and ended up at a startup that said, okay, cool, like, you know, you can do graphic design, but like, you know, it would be really helpful if you could also implement some of this stuff on the front end, you know, we wear a lot of hats here, you know, here's some books on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and at the time they were using a, a framework that, um, you know, uh, did any JVM um, language on the back end, so, you know, Closure, Scala, et cetera, like, but maybe to start with the front end, you know, start with this. Yeah, yeah. So I read those over the weekend, came back on Monday and, you know, happily programming away. And they're like, uh, you seem better at this than you are at that. Like maybe, maybe stick with the programming. So, <laughs> um, but the, I think part of why um, that, that transition was so easy was a writing music is writing a bunch of instructions for a performer to execute. So you're already thinking about this in relatively, you know, uh, intricate systems. Right. And all of the math in higher music theory is pretty much the same. It's, it's all matrices and graph theory and like just a little bit of category oh. theory. So Interesting. a lot of the, you know, the prereqs are the same, it turns out. This category theory and music theory? Yeah. Wow. That's really... So do you, do you feel that you... Uh, this was the, the question that I wrote down and then I went, what would I feel like if somebody asked me, which is like, do you feel like you're using the same part of your brain when you're doing these things? Um, and I thought about it in terms of writing, right? Writing and programming. And I was like, I, it does kind of feel like a complex system. Um, is it, is it, does it feel the same? Does it feel yeah. the same as graphic design as well? I mean, is it, was that like a completely different part yeah. of you doing it you know I, I would actually say graphic design was like yes there's the creative aspect but it it used a different part of my brain i i often say like uh writing music and writing code sort of scratches the same part of my brain right, right. and uh you know i really fell in love with programming both because uh the way you think is similar but uh you can do like in, in no way to say that, you know, writing music isn't, isn't valuable. Absolutely it is, right? But uh, you can do things that then lots of other people can take and extend and work on. And there's almost more of a social aspect as opposed to just performance. Um, and getting that same sort of, you know, dopamine high off of, um, uh, off of writing code as writing music, plus all these additional benefits was, yeah, just, just, uh, really lovely. So I unfortunately these days don't have as much time to write music as I used to, but, um, uh, you know, I, I still get the same, um, uh, uh, you know, work the same parts of my brain. Same cheap kick. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> which, which has the better tooling after the hundreds of years of music design? Uh, shockingly still, um, uh, so tooling programming for sure. Um, methods of teaching and, and pedagogy definitely right. music yeah right right yeah. that's sort of i always again because my you know other half of my brain is writing i'm always like 
the project of successfully teaching over 80% of the population literacy is sort of, I feel like it's not a kind of, a, you know, learn to code kind of thing. I'm just like, that is an understated, like victory, right? Like we've taken something incredibly complicated and clearly the role of, you know, held by a tiny minority of people who presumed that they were the only people smart enough to do it and turned it into a universal skill. Um, and music, music, I mean, music has that nice sort of aspiration to that, even if like we don't give it the resources that perhaps would make that succeed. Um, but programming, we have no idea. 